Hi everyone, welcome to the Archimedes stage. So next up we have Asier Aranz and Javier Martin. And they both co-founded Nebutech, and they'll be showing the latest demos and activities using the latest gadgets and tech. So a round of applause for both of them. Uh, hi, hi everyone. Uh, we are going to talk about uh, what is a lab, what is a laboratory. We are trying to create a laboratory what is a, is a place where we have the latest uh, technology imported for the, from the United States, Silicon Valley, and we are trying to get the best talent in Europe to compete with that technologies that now maybe uh, not anyone has an uh, Oculus Rift. We have an Oculus Rift, we have the Leap Motion, we don't have, unfortunately, the Google Glasses, but we want to create a place where you or any developer can interact with the latest technologies uh, brings from uh, Palo Alto, Silicon Valley, etc. Uh, I have created years ago a company and I, I love the gadgets. I, I have developed some, some uh, amazing, some funny stuff like uh, robotic arm controllers with the brainwaves and similar, and we want that you could try this kind of technologies. So this, this speech will be interactive. We want that you uh, try this. We are going to put some demonstrations here that uh, you can uh, use it in, in maybe uh, 50 or, or 20 minutes. And we are going to demonstrate also how to make um, fastly a 3D scenario with Unity, that is a very cool software. And we will navigate inside that scenario with the Oculus glasses. After that, maybe we will uh, put a, another demo, maybe more immersive, like a roller coaster. Maybe you, you have watched it before there. And well, here is Javi that has, has been also with me in a startup in Guaira. He's a very strong developer, but let me introduce yourself. Uh, yeah, hi, uh, I'm Javier, I'm 20 years old. Uh, I am a student of communications uh, in Madrid, and I create uh, also uh, projects. Uh, I go on uh, Talentum AdWords uh, in Telefonica uh, with TagYou. Uh, TagYou uh, is a project uh, for mobile, it's, it's an app uh, that allows you to uh, share photos in, in the moment. Okay? Uh, before, uh, I meet uh, with Asier in High Through uh, in Guaira. Uh, Guaira is an uh, accelerator of Telefonica, and I work uh, with uh, CTO, uh, CTO uh, in High Through. And before uh, uh, he and me uh, make a test lane uh, with a presentation today. Okay, and so Oculus, uh, Oculus is the new project uh, in the world. Well, we yeah. we. We like to, to have the, the newest software. For example, this is a Sony Smartwatch One. It's not the lastest one. It's now the Smartwatch Two is is being is being uh, solved. But for example, we have developed the first uh, native game. You can't watch here, but maybe I I can put a, a video. Yeah. Uh, YouTube.com. If I have okay, first smart. What's game? This one. Okay. Uh, this is the, the Sony Smartwatch. This yeah. is the kind of things that we done. This has been done in one night. It's, it's very easy to develop, but uh, oh, I'm going to don't know this. We don't need audio, so that. For example, this is a this is the kind of thing that we love to do. We make fast things and we go to Sony and say, look, we have do, we have developed this. Maybe if you give us the smartwatch too, we, can, we could get people from here, for example, for example, from Campus Party, and develop with you a more interesting thing, not in one night, maybe in one or two weeks. And that is, the, that is how, our, how our object is not. Get a sponsor like Sony, a Telefonica, or O2, and develop funny things, crazy things, that has market. It's very important to find the market because we don't, we don't want only to make geek things. We want to make things and make money also for us and for you. So this is the kind of things that yeah. we made. Yep. And to show a, a demo that uh, we can try the, the Oculus, uh, I will create a small uh, scenario in Unity as fast as possible. 
to, to show that creating amazing things or cool things is not, is not very difficult. This is a fast, uh, a fast work. I'm going to create first a small terrain. I, I could create a terrain with another program, but I have it already created. Mess, game object. I'm going to create a terrain. Okay, I have here a terrain, and this terrain can, can be modeled, but I have a mess. I have a mess that I can import here. Um, import row, desktop, terrain, terrain, terrain.row. Import. Okay, I'm in Windows. So imported. Now I'm going to, to zoom this a bit because this, this screen is small. Well, this is a terrain, no? Okay, I'm going to, to lower the, the height a bit because it's very sc scrappy. Okay, now it's easier to move. And now I can drop in this terrain a virtual character that I could uh, move and navigate with this, with the Oculus. So I will, uh, I will go to, 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 to first person character. I, ca I, could, uh, I could drag a third person controller, for example, this one. This is a person. Uh, okay, wait a second. No. For example, this is a third person controller. Okay, the Unity okay. has this. And I can look myself in three in three person, but I would like a first person controller because I'm inside the Oculus now. So Unity also has a, a thir first person controller. So I will drag it here. Okay. Now I'm in the wall. There is no light, so I need to put some light and maybe a, a texture in the terrain. So this is also fast, fast done. Uh, I will go to the terrain and paint a texture. Uh, I'm going to paint texture. Uh, let's go, let's see if I have the texture here. Maybe maybe it's, it's here. Okay. In Unity, you can drag and drop anything. You maybe you have the texture in, the, in your desktop. You drag into Unity here, and then you can drag this there to say, oh, I want this text. I want this texture here. Ah, uh, ta ta, and it's done. Add. Okay. Now the terrain has a more beautiful. Uh, looking <laughs> and now I will add the light I have a terrain but there is no light so I win I want to add a directional light here uh, wait 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 maybe now now it's more okay and now I can move with the standard keyboard in the games with the W A S D under mouse in a virtual world it's a very simple world, okay. so I can add fastly some kind of stuff to look be, uh, more realistic. For example, let's, let's add a skybox. A skybox is like the, um, the clouds, the sun, and the atmosphere, no? So if I add a skybox, also it's an easy, uh, easy thing. Uh, let's, let's see if there is a beautiful one here with clothes, 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 maybe this one, maybe this one, okay. Now, for example, I have the, the sky, no? And there is also the sun there, and I could uh, move, I could create a light with the sun and move into the sun to have a lens flare, no? If I move, I can watch the lens flare, but maybe this, this will be after the, the speed, the speed. So let's add, for example, some uh, trees and some water. Let's add the water, for example, here. Uh, maybe here, yes, okay. This is water. Let's put a beautiful lake here. Where am I? I'm here, okay. Okay, water. Okay, now all is flooded. So now I have the water. Look, it's a, it's a beautiful water, has a texture, has have some waves, and let's add some uh, vegetation, no? some trees, and okay. for example, let's add uh, an imported character from other software. Uh, with Unity, you can add uh, anything from other programs like 3D Max Studio, but I have one that is that, DHZ. With DAS Studio, you can add, for example, 
Let's add. We can add a, a figure, an actor, a child, a, a woman, a boy. Uh, because today is the woman in test day. Maybe we are going to add the woman. <laughs> and let's try to so add here. I will hide this. Here, okay. I'm gonna to to put the the clothes. For example, the leggings and the boots and a bit of hair. Okay, hair. Okay, and now I can um, I can try to to make a pose. Let's make, a, for example, a seated pose, a thinking, no? And now in, in Unity I will put a, a rock and I will sit the girl like thinking in the rock and you can move around her. So let's let's export this. Exporting. Uh, I see the thinker. I have this exported yet, but I'm gonna export again to look how easy it is to to make these things. So let's go where I am here. I'm going to import the girl. The girl is here. The thinker. In Unity, all is drag and drop, so I can drag anywhere. I will uh, drag uh, here in Modelos, Modelos Test Lane in Spanish. It, it takes a bit to, to import. And after that, you could uh, try this demo, and then Javi will speak to you about the Leaf Motion, motion. too. We are working in an integration between Leaf Motion and Oculus, so you can grab objects and have in your in your hands. Well, let's see. Okay, now what is happening here? Okay, now it's here thinker imported. I will add here. Unity by default import the object very small, so I will I will uh, scroll it a little bigger. Let's see if it's realistic. Maybe a bit large. Uh, a bit smaller. Okay. Uh, I will move the directional light because it's, it's giving the light in, in the backwards and I, I would like to give in in the front, so yeah, uh, wait, 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 uh, uh, okay, yes, now it's better, now we can watch it better. Okay, we need to put, for example, a, a rock, I have a rock already imported because the Unity has a huge uh, asset store and you can uh, get for free a lot of objects. I don't know where is where the rock is. Rock, rock, where are you? Single rock here, okay. Uh, thinker. And I'm gonna put the, the rock here. See the objects, single rock. Oh, it's a little big. A little big. Uh, well, let's see if it fits. Ooh, well, let's see if I can make something with this because this is in, I, I'm in hackathon mode now. It's like oh. uh, let's move, let's move, let's move, let's move. Maybe something like this could could be valid. Let's see if it's go well done. Well, well, it's, well near. near Near okay, maybe maybe the girl could be a little, a little bit down, but it's okay. I will drag a, a texture also for the rock, for example, uh, this one or this one. And now I can put this demo in the Oculus. I will add something more, uh, more uh, amazing for in this in this scene because I will add a, a very huge dragon. And now it's not huge. I'm going to make it bigger, 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 bigger. Where is this? Here. Okay. 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 So now you are inside a big scene where you have a dragon. This is not very immersive, but when you have the Oculus, you can watch up and you watch the dragon. It's like, whoa. So now Unity has a beautiful compatibility with this, with Oculus. So I will remove the, um, the first-person first controller and I will add the Oculus uh, camera controller. 
that Unity has. I, I'm not import first, but is this um, prefabs player camera? This one, okay. Is this one? And I need to remove the first person controller. Delete. So now the image will be spl split, but it moves with the Oculus. So if I put this, I could watch. But I have now a small problem, it's a hardware problem, because the computer only can um, have two uh, graphical outputs. So I have this output and that output. I need to plug down one of them. I think that I will do this. Uh, what is the um, HDMI cable? And let's try if it works. And you can try this demo, some of you. Oh, let's see if it. I'm trying to. Uh, come on, come on. It's power down. No. Maybe, maybe I need to unplug this. Unfortunately, I think. <laughs> Wait a second. I'm gonna try, and if it works. Then I'm gonna do so. I'm gonna show you the more effect. Let's see. Okay, wait a second. Yes, now I'm inside. Uh, please, uh, some of you can want to try this. Okay, come here. I will try to to put this in, in the screen uh, we, while you are navigating here. So this, I, I'm gonna give you a keyboard. Uh, maybe without glasses is better, eh? maybe. Let's see if I can move with this. Right. Yes, you, you can move. You can, you can put the, up the, how you say it? <laughs> the belt. And you can move with this. If you, if you know how to play all the games, so it's the W and similar, if you want to, to test it. Or put it there. Uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna try to to put this there. Mm. Are you watching it? What? Wait a second. Wait a second. Now? No input. No input. No. So I only the person who is trying will not want. No, we'll see. This is a a fault. <laughs> okay. Now yes. No. Yeah, okay, so try with this, some seconds, and then the next one. <laughs> we cannot make it better here, so <laughs> maybe I can turn this a little, but only a little. Way. Yeah. Oops. Oops, sorry. <laughs> it's my mouse. <laughs> okay, you can move and, and watch it. I, I'm going to approach the girl, so... You watch more details. No, for you. Wait, maybe it's a little big, the girl, no? You can look up, look up to the ray gun. You can move, so. And this is a very simple stand that I have created in some minutes. I, I don't have a lot of skills in 3D, so the people that l likes to, to make 3D stuff can play with this. For example, in Howard Lab. Uh, we, we are speaking with some people to make a game with the Oculus. So if some of you are interested in, in doing it, and also could be a spicy game. So if you are interested, you can speak with us. Can, and after that, we it. will start. Yes, move. <laughs> OK, what time is it? Maybe five minutes more. and. Next one, ah, please. Uh, An enfocado. Ah, mira. <laughs> ah, great, great solution. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Next one. Uh, sure. yeah. 
Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Ok. Vamos a dejarla aquí. Sí. Ok, next one. Um, venga. George Lee, and after that, uh, maybe Javi will explain the, the leap motion. motion. And if we have more time at, in the final, we will play the roller coaster demo. If you haven't tried, it's very awesome and has a good, good strong feelings. We can also drag animations, anim animated uh, people, but we don't have a lot of time, so. Restarlo ahora. Eso se conecta y. Piensa ahí. Fusion with Oculus, lo digo. Sorry? With the W, yeah. if you can move, you, with the shift, you can run. So, this one. You can go down, uh, it's here. <laughs> it's not the best uh, interface <laughs> now, but... <laughs> okay, and last one, Superbooker. <laughs> no, it's there. And last one. ¿Cómo conectamos esto? Se Con el cable este, sí, no preocupes. Va a funcionar, o sea que... Me deja un poco, que lo, lo muevo yo. Sí. Ok. And now well, we are going to, to change the, the laptop. I think that it will be easy. Ok. Uh, so, at the moment... Uh, maybe you have this input. Let's try, if not... Tú quitar el portal. Eh, no, no. Quita, eh, es sí, que si no, no puedo poner el... So, wait a second. Tan, tan, tararán, tan, tararán. <laughs> cuidado, cuidado, cuidado. No te preocupes que este es este. Estoy clavando la antena. Yeah. It's a live demo. Two live demos. This one. Un momento, un momento. Uh, que no tenga nada. Vale. vale. Enchúfale ahí y ya está. Ok. It's done. Yeah. Thank you very much. Bueno, cuenta un poco la tecnología, el cerrojo está... Eso. Ah, deja de pasar. So now Javi will uh, show a demo with the Leap Motion, that is a, a beautiful device. So. No, no, it's, it's okay. No, it's yeah, the, no. Okay. It's the connection. It's the es que no, no va bien el conector. Vale. Espérate. Le tienes que conectar igual. No, no, no. no está, está conectado, ¿eh? Sí, 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 ya está, ya está. ¿Ya? Wait a second. Vale. Esto, cierra el programa y abro otra vez. Cierra, lo cierra. Bueno. Well, when, while we are connecting this, uh, Leap Motion is a, a beautiful project that uh, some people has, has the. Be, wait, it, it's, it's connected, it's connected. So people has developed also in the United States and has been very difficult to, to get. I, I have, I have, uh, I needed, now it's done. Yeah. Mm. I needed to go to the United States, speak with the Leap Motion people and, and ask, well, okay, so sure. it's okay. Maybe it's a connection problem, but. No, yeah. But. The resolution? Resolution? Oh, sorry. No. This is a hard demo. Well, the, the Leap Motion is like Kinect, but has more resolution. It, it watches your, your fingers with a lot of precision. Also can detect the, the tremolo of your, of your fingers. So has a, a very, very strong uh, resolution. Now, uh, there, is, there are some people in Spain that are making amazing things with this and the surgery. Surgeons are, user, are using this to watch the, the, patient's, um, the patient's images of, of his uh, body, inside body, with the hands, to not to touch on the screens. But 
Dun, dun. Well, after this, after after Oculus, Live Motion, what what will be the next big thing? I think that the next big thing will be the Kinect too. Kinect is, is developing a new Kinect that measures the, the light speed to detect your body. The last Kinect used the um, infrared lights, but the next Kinect will use the timing of the light, the time that light travels to detect your, your uh, mess. And it will work in, for example, uh, with sunny, with sunny in the exterior. Let's see. We are having some problems. <laughs> but don't worry. Si más o menos se ve, si no lo conecto al mío, eh. Ah, así mismo, como si lo como si se viese bien, ya está. 60 Hz. Okay. Ah, ya está. Ciérralo y ya está. Okay. Ah, uh, well, well, I don't know. Hola, hola. Okay. Ya está. Eh, uh, Limotion eh uh, is the other project eh uh, we have and this this technology uh, we can uh, in interact yeah yes uh the motion have so, have some problems also because for example sine surfaces are affecting the the reflections if you have this a, a little a little dirty it also is is more blurry so well, now it's working <laughs> yeah uh, Oh, okay, uh, in motion, uh, we can uh, move uh, of the world. Uh, for example, in this uh, program, uh, with fingers, uh, this lies. Okay, for example. Yeah, there are some. Kate. There are some fish that are attracted by the light. Yeah. And the other hand. In this uh, program, not very successful. Why? In this demo. Mm -hmm. Well, this this kind of stuff is now is being used is being used okay. by a lot of agencies. Uh, maybe more than in Spain. In Spain, maybe we need more more power to to uh, bring this to the market because in Spain it's very difficult to to mix the the technical part and the business part. No, so yeah. you have uh, the, the demo and stuff. Yeah, and this program, uh, well, in motion. Uh, can uh, help in the program medical, what, for example, uh, move uh, the molecule and you show the... Uh, sure. uh, yes, this is a segment of the DNA with the molecules that you can use it for, for visualization. Uh, now imagine to mix, mix this Other. with this one. For example, now all the all the medic the medic people are using uh, the um, how is it the scanner the body scanner no and all of them watch the the images in 2D. Uh, we are working with a uh, with another company called Tezcas in Spain to make a 3D version of these images for medical. Okay, um, this other demo. Gate. Radiant. Okay, it's awkward now. Wow, well, they're at the vault. Uh. Well, how, how many of you have one of these things? Uh, Oculus or Emotion? Maybe one of you, yes, no? Okay, you? You? What, Oculus? Yes? Whoa. And Emotion? Yes, good one. So this is this is not a good thing. I, I I would like to to watch more hands up. So we want to carry these things to all the people, have a beautiful place in a big city, and play with these things to make market things. So ah, this is another demo with the with motion. Yeah. This, for example, is an edu educational one to, for example, watch what. Uh, Bones are in your head, and I'm gonna and show another thing, thing maybe. My camera key. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And last question. Last question. How many of you 
No, what is this? Maybe yes. This most. Yeah, well. And how many of you have it? Well, one. It's, it's a good thing. This one is also a beautiful stuff that can be used for make uh, things that make money. It's, now it's a it's a object used to make, for example, music, touching a banana or touching him or touching yeah. anything. With this thing, I can connect myself a cable, connect another one to Javi, and when I touch him, play That's and soft. stuff or make something uh, like uh, it's like magic, no? So this three stuff that are very cheap. The, li the Limotion cost about 150, uh, the Oculus 300. Uh -huh. This one is like f uh, $50. Uh, this is not very, very expensive. expensive. So it's, uh, I think that it's a good thing that uh, having a bit of money in a place and use all your talent to develop things between, between us, no? And try to get the get the market the market faster. What happens when a one idea starts to to watch that the market exists? Well, then we can uh, look what is the best person to manage that project, and then we create a spin-off to make that project. So that is the concept. The lab will be a place where this kind of store will be. There will be uh, business people, design people, uh, uh, makers people, developer people. And when we reach a market, we put a small uh, team to work on that. And if we look that in one, two, or three weeks there are some results, then we can make a new company. And that is the, the concept that we are, are going to, to create <laughs> when we fund and sponsor. So. <laughs> Um, and well, what time is it? Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe we can start with the questions or? Yeah, sure. If anyone's got any questions, you want to raise your hands in the air? And if not question, <laughs> then we will, the last minute we will put the, the demo of Oculus. So. First, yeah. I like to uh, say uh, and thank you for the presentation. Um, it's very interesting to me, uh, this kind of um, subjects because when you talk about uh, medicine uh, and this is my area um, you talk about um, for example the scanning and MRI and something like that with, the, with this uh, apparatus you can move and you can uh, permit it to show different images or mm. change the image change the view yes you can change the contrast you can change the uh, yes oh, but you you talk you talk about uh, all kind of scans, or uh, for example, because you have MRI, you have tomography, mm -hmm. you have a lot of things, uh, or it exists to this all fields. Now this company about I have I have been speaking Tedcast is working in that also has been in Guaira first and it's, it's growing a lot. Uh, it's working with a lot of uh, doctors around the world with this stuff. Maybe Oculus not yet, but maybe Sun, and they are using for MRA. MRA is resonance. Yes. Yes, in MRA. So now the now the medicals watch the 2D images and can can I have a here a program for watching that kind of images. I have here an MRA images, and you only can watch it with the mouse and change the contrast with the mouse. But with this, you have two hands. You can move between the images, you can change the contrast, so it's very easy to watch the things. And if you want, you can watch the 3D image and rotate, and it's, it's for, the, um, for the doctors, it's amazing. It's working very, very well, and this, this uh, company, Tedcast, is growing fast, very, very fast. And if, if you permit me uh, another question, you show um, an image of the brain, hmm. only the skull. Only the bones. Only the bones. But the bones in the, in the, in the complete view, you, you can show the, the parts, there? you can, for example, uh, open the brain with, in, with this program, yes. open the brain and, and show the frontal the bone, the, yes. the lateral bone, the sphenoids, yes, everything. Yeah. Yes, yeah. You can, and you can, do, you can do that with Unity, for example. You can, you, can get a, you can get a real scanner and translate this uh, data in 3D to Unity, and then you can add data. When I click it here, Put this is uh, this that thing. So 
You can make anything with this. Okay, thank you very much. Any more questions? Anyone? Yeah. Hi, thank you for the talk. Uh, with Unity, I more know what uh, you are doing with Unity. With, but uh, with a live motion, I don't know really. For me, it's not very clear what are you doing, what is your project, because you told and you I flew to US to buy the, the live motion, and but you are using yes. here in a demo. But for me, it's not really very clear what are you using or to what. Yes, uh, we we need uh, we need some su support because we have have uh, words that being where the technology is, it's very easy to, to get. For example, the live motion. I have not paid for the live motion. I have not paid for the Oculus, and I have not paid for this because if you speak with the uh, right person, and you, I have said to the um, developer relation of Leap Motion, if you give me one Leap Motion, I will make a beautiful demo for tomorrow. Yeah, really? Okay, get, get, like this, like drag, it's like get. And I make a demo, and they, they retweet it, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So the brands want these kind of things. And when I watch this in the United States, I think maybe we can make this here in Europe and have a better contact with the brands there and use our talent to make things faster here. Not, uh, we are, all, uh, all of us are thinking about going to San Francisco or Palo Alto, but maybe we can make amazing things here, being in contact with the, with the brands there. So that is maybe the, the concept. Hello. Um, Hello. I had a couple questions about uh, Tesline. So I understand you gather the talent, um, you know, and uh, I, I suppose you support them in the process of uh, bringing, you know, their ideas to market. How does that work specifically? The. How can can you repeat, please? Yeah, I'm not sure uh, about what Tesline does. Tesla, it seems yes. like an interesting uh, concept, but I didn't exactly get it fully. I think. Yes, uh, we get the. How our profit to forget the talent first is to, uh, with the talent inside, we evaluate the new talent and then we uh, split this talent, maybe a team for uh, watching the market and another team to develop with this stuff, for example. So we basically need a peop some people that speak directly with the brands and the sponsors and maybe another part of the team that could be the same, but it's, be it's better to have it split. It to develop this stuff. So we want talent to uh, reach the brands, reach the sponsor, and make fast things. Because we, wa we, l we know that the brands want to, when they have an idea, they want to watch the idea working in one week. And if you can make that, uh, the brands uh, are coming. Maybe it's easier in the United States, in Spain it's maybe different because, for example, we have been speaking with Samsung and Samsung said, we depend up on Korea, so if Korea don't give this... So. Yeah. so what do you think is one of the hinders for technology developing as it does in the US in a place like Spain or Europe? What is the hinders? What is the problem of technology developing uh, in Europe? In Europe. Uh, I think that the here uh, is uh, the technical people is uh, less valued than in the United States, I think, in Spain more. Uh, so if you, uh, if, you, if you develop these kind of things, in Spain all the people say, well, and what is the, the, um, the, mo the business model? Okay, it's, it, it's, it's, it's true, so, and we need a business model. But in the United States, if you make this cool stuff, uh, it's easier to get uh, business people that say, oh, I will go to the brands and I will speak with them. Maybe in a, uh, we need more courage in, in Europe. For example, Oculus, when the people develop the Oculus in the United States, uh, they have like a lot of public, uh, how you say it, apoyo. Uh, well, they have better, uh, when you grow here in Europe, we don't have a lot of advertisement from the public. And in the United States, you are by like, it's well viewed in the United States. So it, I don't know if it's clear. Thank you very much. Maybe after that. Thank you. Sure. Any more questions? So I, I will put the, the demo. How is we are on time or?
I will put the demo for the last one, so... Yep. Eh, vale, la podemos poner aquí. Voy a hacer lo mismo que antes, ¿vale? Lo giro aquí vale. y listo. Espera. A ver. Esto lo vamos a cerrar. Ok. Espera, te ayudo a... No, no te preocupes, ya está esto. Solo quiero cerrar el Unity. Don't save. And now, if you want to, to be here, I will put the, the demo of Coaster. If you want to speak after that, we will be in the workshop too, with a big screen there. So, <laughs> yeah. okay. This is the Roller Coaster demo. This is a, the most amazing demo that now Oculus have. So, if you want to try, I, I will put also the audio. So, maybe you want to, to bring her. <laughs> maybe, put, no, no, maybe, maybe down, down, down. Wow. Uh, yes. Uh, Uf, se va a caer. <laughs> really. sí, seguro que se cae. Maybe you want to grab this. Wait a second. Okay. Um, there is a chair here. So. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> no. Look down. The sound, the yeah. sound, the sound. Yeah. The sound. Yeah, sure. Left. Out. Yeah. Yep. Aquí, el último. Ok. You have sound now? Yes. Yes. Ok. Yeah. Bueno, si este enfoca, yo lo dejo así. Hola. No, this is not. This is a. Um, this is. Uh, the Unity. Sorry, no, the Unreal. The Unreal Engine. People has made this to what uh, they can make things with the Unreal. Now it's, now it's going down. <laughs> Sorry about my English. <laughs> we got, what the time is it? Sorry. So I, you still have time, but I think I should just wrap okay. it up. All right. Thank you very much. This was Asier Aranz and Javier Martin. So a round of applause for them. And at six, we have John Maddock Hall at the O2 main stage. Thank you.